it is so good to be back at the fort. Right, Squeaks? Our research trip was great, but it's so good to be officially home. Hi everyone, Jessie and Squeaks here. We just got back from our big research trip in Cahokia and we missed you so much while we were gone. We learned a ton of cool things, but we're excited to be back at the fort to do more science. And speaking of science, while we were on our way home, I started thinking about how lots of animals travel during the year. Every spring and fall, all kinds of animals migrate or travel long distances to do things like have babies or find food. And that got me wondering, how do they know where they're going? You don't see birds flying around with maps. So I decided to find out. And it turns out animals have some really neat tricks. What's that, Squeaks? You could totally take a guess. Whenever you have a science question, it can be a great idea to brainstorm what you think the answer is. So, how do you think animals know which way to go? Ooh, landmarks, great idea. Landmarks are special things you notice along your journey that you recognize when you see them again. Like how when I'm on my way to the store, I know I always have to turn right at the big blue house on the corner. And it turns out animals use landmarks too, except they're not always looking at houses. They might use bushes or logs or bigger things like forests or mountains. When they see a mountain that's familiar, they know they're going the right way, except well, here's a question. What if there aren't any good landmarks? Like some animals fly or swim in the ocean, which is just a bunch of water. So how do they know where to go? Squeaks, any ideas? Yeah, that's okay, it's a tricky one. When there aren't good landmarks, some animals that are awake at night, like certain seals and birds, use the stars for directions. They look for things like patterns in the stars, and when they find the right pattern, they know that walking, swimming, or flying toward those stars will take them where they need to go. Isn't that so cool? Sometimes when you chase your curiosity and try to find answers to the things you wonder about, you end up learning something amazing that you never could have guessed. So some animals use landmarks and some use stars, but other animals like certain birds and bees can do something extra cool, something people can't do. They have an internal compass. You might have used a compass if you've ever been on a hiking trip. They have a little needle in them that always points north, so they can tell you which direction you're going. Birds and bees have a compass like this inside them. We're still learning how it works, but these animals can tell which way is north all by themselves. So when it's time to move, they know which way they're facing. Man, I wish I had an internal compass. That would have made getting back to the fort so much easier. But that's okay, Squeaks and I had a map, and we know which landmarks to look out for on the way, so we didn't get lost too many times. I'm so glad we decided to explore how animals get home though. They do it so many ways, and it really makes me think about how different and interesting each kind of animal is. I hope you had fun learning about them with me too. It's so good to be back, and I'm excited about everything that we're going to learn this year. If you want to keep learning and having fun with Squeaks and me, you can hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time here at the fort. Thank you.